The special intervention squads will soon be established in police formations across the country to stem the tide of insecurity and banditry. This is according to the acting inspector general of police, Kayode Egbetokun, who said this in Ibadan. During a retreat for ex-police chiefs, correspondent John Alabi tells us more. It's a special retreat for ex-police chiefs in Ibadan, and organizers of this event seek to ensure that former police chiefs can contribute their quota to effective policing while also adopting a knowledge-based approach to solving crime. Who are gradually losing confidence in the, in the NPF. In the NPF. And the people are increasingly imposing their confidence in, in the non-state actors. I'm happy that the chairman mentioned it the other time. I saw it in one of your press releases. Then, so there's urgent need for us to, to revive the division police headquarters. Our new policing vision is to emplace a professionally competent, service-driven, rule of law compliant, people-friendly police force that will support the agenda of government in economic recovery and growth, as well as social and political development of our country. This retreat is coming at a time when the nation is plagued by security challenges. Participants here hope to reposition the police force to be able to discharge its traditional role effectively. Part of what we've been having uh, almost uh, once in, uh, either in a month or two, together to know what is going on in the police force, what we can suggest to the government and the police itself, so that uh, we have a very uh, advanced police that the public needs. We hear from the public, we know what they want, and when they hold this meeting, we discuss that with the serving IG, so he knows what the, the people are thinking of them. We shared our experiences and uh, our expectations from him and the expectations of the society, and we all agreed that the time has come when the retired IGs will not be docile, but we contribute with the present IG for the furtherance and good governance of the police. The 22nd Indigenous Inspector General of Police also met with critical stakeholders where he promised to brace up to the challenges of insecurity by responding appropriately and adequately to the dynamics of crime. We are just asking, sir, this community policing of a team, when you are the packages, be less assured that BCRC across Nigeria, we are ready to key him into your program. The area command is established in all our programs. I will never repeat this course. Although State Council has only two mobile units, it's our belief that this is not adequate. We have a plan to create from the police mobile course a score known as Special Intervention Score. We are going to have this special intervention squad in all the states of the Federation. We are drawing the men that will make up the squad from the present police mobile force. The police leadership says it is fully equipped to provide effective policing with the use of science, innovation and technology to ensure safety of lives and properties. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.